first we're gonna go ahead and bring up Rick Olson. He is an engineer at GitHub. He also has a favorite video game of Destiny. I'm gonna give you some random facts of information about our speakers today. And he actually lives in Boulder, Colorado and plays a little bit of bass. So welcome, Rick. Hi, how's everyone doing? Uh, I'm Rick Olson, and I'm gonna be talking about Git Large File Storage. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so at, at a, as a high-level overview, uh, Git Large File Storage is a, an extension to Git for working with large files. Uh, Git by itself will happily store large files for you, but not very efficiently. What happens as you uh, store versions of files, your repository grows uh, too big in size and becomes unwieldy to use. Um, so the uh, Git Large File Storage extension uh, helps that along. Um, it adds some new subcommands to Git, and uh, but it, it integrates with Git through internal hooks and uh, filters so that it doesn't disrupt your uh, your current Git workflow. Uh, it also has support for uh, Git hosts like uh, like GitHub. Um, so the whole idea for Git LFS came from this, uh, this prototype called Git Media that uh, one of the co-founders of GitHub, uh, Scott Chacon, wrote. Uh, so basically what it did, it used uh, internal filters called uh, clean and smudge that when you added a big file to your Git repository, um, it moves the file somewhere else and actually puts like a little text file pointer inside your uh, Git repository. And then as you check out the big file, it replaces the pointer with the actual big file and it does this for you um, all transparently. Um, but at the time, like we couldn't build the support into uh, github.com. Like the company was, I mean, this was like uh, 2009, so the company was way too young and we had to focus on uh, Git itself. So uh, Git Media had custom uh, like storage adapters so you could push the files to uh, S3. That was a big one at the time. Um, but as, uh, as we got feedback from people that really wanted to use big files in Git, we realized that we had to solve this. Uh, so so I, I went back to first principles, like how, how do we take this Git Media prototype and make it into like a, a, a GitHub product? Uh, so one of the key features is uh, easy installation. Uh, Git Media is written in Ruby, and you have to have like the right version of Ruby and the right Ruby gems, depending on what storage adapter you want to use and all that. Uh, that's way too much to ask of people, especially if you don't use Ruby. I mean, I use Ruby and I still wouldn't want to deal with all that. Um, it also required users to configure like which adapter. So, you know, you would have to clone a repository and then put in like your S3 credentials uh, in the uh, git config. So that's an extra step I really didn't want. Um, also, instead of even having storage adapters, I thought about just basically uh, building, on, building an API on top of the Git remote URL. So it knows intuitively like where to uh, store and fetch the uh, big files. And this means it can use uh, Git authentication. So if you can authenticate into GitHub through uh, you know, your username, password, or SSH, then you can also pull and uh, store your, your big files. Uh, so uh, this, this illustrates what my goal was. Like I should be able to push a file to GitHub and it should look like just if I stored it with LFS or, or just regular Git. Um, so, so why open source? Like this is, uh, th some people saw this as uh, some secret sauce, some uh, competitive advantage, but really like I, I viewed it from day one as part of the Git ecosystem. Like one of the really cool things about Git and GitHub is you can, you can work with stuff on GitHub, but you can push to other, uh, other uh, Git servers like, uh, like Bitbucket or uh, Visual Studio Online. And it, it, you know, it just, the same, the same tools work everywhere. Uh, also, by being open source, we can work with a very diverse uh, community of developers that have very different needs than I do. Um, like, like Tracy mentioned, I, I'm a big video uh, game nerd and their, uh, their development cycle is really fascinating to me and I really wanted to, to work with them but I don't, I don't know anything about making video games. Um, I know how to make, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a back-end developer, I can make 
servers. So, but this way I can release a tool and work with people uh, very, uh, very closely. I'm able to work with um, our uh, competitors, which are going to be speaking um, right after me. Uh, um, also, uh, so something that really surprised me too is uh, just having the open source tool and a documented API meant uh, people were wanting to use us for uh, new use cases, not even uh, for like storing large files in Git necessarily. Uh, so I was talking, um, I, I spoke to a, uh, a, a data scientist about using it to store like big data sets in some massive cluster, which again, I don't know anything about. So that's really cool. Um, also spoke with someone about making like a, a new package manager uh, for for a, a language that really needs one. Um, so so today we're announcing Git LFS 1.0. This has been uh, months of work since we announced the open source project uh, in April. Uh, so since then we completely rethought how the API works. Uh, it's a lot more efficient now, and uh, we can also there. Uh, we have ideas on how to uh, extend it and make it, you know, better in the future as well. Um, another big thing that uh, that Steve will be touching on more is uh, local storage management. That's where the uh, Git LFS tool stores the files. Um, uh, also, uh, with 1.0, we have some really good uh, installers. So, especially like for Windows, the original Windows installer script was not very good, and a lot of people had problems. But now it's a graphical uh, installer. Um, and also there are packages for Linux users. Uh, um, there's uh, RPM and apt packages. Um, and we're also playing around this idea of LFS extensions, which is another thing. People want to uh, change how the LFS objects are, are stored. Uh, uh, for instance, they want to uh, compress them before pushing them up to, uh, to GitHub. So that's the idea is still uh, in an experimental phase, but I'm really excited about it. And, and that's it. Thank you.